Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys something known as a vid count inside Laravel that allows us to easily load the number of relationships we have for a specific model. Now, this is very useful, for example, in case of our like button, where we need to show the number of likes we have, basically count, we need to count the number of likes relationships that we have. So this is where vid count comes into play. So let's go ahead and see how that works in practice, guys. So Previously, the way we were doing the count for our likes or our like button was, let me show you guys the like button I have open over here. Basically, we were accessing our idea model. Uh, we were basically using the likes relationship and calling the count method on it, right? And if we can actually go ahead and use the Laravel uh, debug bar to kind of see what queries it was doing, it was basically running a simple uh, count, select count, very simple stuff, right? Now, the way this works is it will run a separate query for every single like button we have. So for example, on this page, uh, I have five ideas. So it is running five queries for this, right? And if I had more, obviously it would run a separate query for each of them. So using with count, it is somewhat similar to eager loading episode I mentioned, I did guys where I've used with, it will go ahead and load all the counts in a single query. So right now, guys, if you, uh, look at the query we are running to get all the ideas. It's a simple select statement. Okay, so what we will do is we will run with count and then take a look at this again and see what has changed. So in order to use with count, basically whenever you're loading your models, you can go ahead and call a method of with count. As you can see, it's very similar to wit. So if you guys haven't seen that episode, I do recommend you check out the eager loading episode we have on the course. It kind of builds up on top of that. And then inside this, you can pass it an argument, which is going to be the relationship you want to load the counts for. So let me open up our model. Uh, you basically need to pass it a relationship you have defined on your model. And the name you enter here has to match the name of your method. So we can put comments, user, and then likes. Well, not user, but we can do for comments and likes here, right? So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I want to load the likes. So I'll put likes here. You can also pass it in an array. So if you have uh, multiple items, you can pass an array and then load multiple relationships, right? So in this case, I'll just load likes. That's all we have to do, guys. So it's very similar to with, right? It's just with count. So let's save this. I'll do a quick reload and let's take a look at what has changed on our query. So I'll do a quick reload. Now the number of queries is still the same. Of course, we are still doing the previous queries because we did not change our like button. But what I want you guys to take a look at is this query over here. And I'll zoom in a little bit. As you guys can see, previously it was a simple select query. Now we are doing the select, but we are also doing a sub query where we are counting the number of likes. And then we are adding it basically as likes count to the returned type. So we should now have access to this likes count on our uh, idea ideas that we we got from the database okay so that's it so instead of using or running these i don't know five or six uh, individual queries we can run everything in a single uh, basically query right so let's go ahead and also now update our like button so instead of the previous way we were doing it now we should be able to use this likes count which mysql or postgres whatever your database is returning so in this case i'll update our like button we have to do relationship name. So that's the format, guys. It's the relationship name followed by underline count, right? So if you were, for example, to uh, with count, run with count on our comments relationship, we would do comments count, right? So in this case, I'll do likes count and I'll update all the other instances that we were using count before as well. So that's all we have to do, guys. And I'll do a quick reload. So if, as you can see, we are doing 10 queries. If I update it now, we are down to five queries. So we got rid of all the extra queries we are doing to load the number of counts and then now we're doing it in a single query now on this case it isn't that big of a difference in terms of performance but we are performing less queries so you do want to know about with count in some cases it can help you optimize your applications of course one more thing we could have done or as some applications do is we could also cache the number of likes we have on an idea. Now, it's a little bit overkill for our application. It doesn't really matter. But again, there are many different strategies you can take to optimize this further. So that's it, guys, for a vid count. It's very easy to use. And it will basically automatically load the counts. Now, similar to wit, you can also go ahead and have vid count always done 
for whenever you're actually performing queries on your model. So if you guys remember when we were using a wit, we were actually able to add it on our model itself and it would always load the, you know, the relationships we added here. So we can do the exact same thing for a uh, wit count as well. So in this case, for example, I have loaded wit count on our dashboard page. So if I were to, I don't know, open the view on a single page for a single idea, as you can see, we are not able to see the likes anymore. And that's because we are not running with count on this specific page, right? So what we could do is because on every single page that we are showing an idea, we are also showing the like count. We can just tell Laudable to always run or use with count. So the way we do it is we can open up our model. I'll actually remove it from here for now. So we can go on our model and add a new property, protected with count. So it's very similar to wit. And then inside here, we can pass it in the relationship we want to load the counts for. So in this case, I say likes. That's all we have to do now. It will go ahead and load the likes count automatically every time we are actually working with our idea model. So I'll do a reload now. As you guys can see, this number came up. And if I load the queries, uh, as you can see, we are actually, we can see th that it is indeed working or added that like count to the query, right? And if I go to the homepage or the dashboard page, it is still also working. Let's log in as well and check the feed page as well. So if I go to the feed page, uh, it is also working. It should also work on the profile page because on this page, we are also showing ideas. As you can see, guys, it is indeed uh, working. So that's it, guys, for today's episode. Very simple concept uh, with count. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.